Differential thrust. Looking good. Hello everyone, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James with another quick tip. And today's tip is gonna be quickly setting up differential thrust for twin engine aircraft that uh, you might need to use it for. So what is differential thrust? Well, basically that will mean you're gonna tie each motor itself to the rudder control to give you extra yaw uh, on your aircraft for whatever purpose you might need it for. Um, it's not always recommended to fly that way all the time, but if you got an acrobatic twin engine aircraft, it's fun to play with differential thrust in the sky. And uh, in my case, I've got a water aircraft um, float twin otter here from Nexa, but I don't have a water rudder. So I'm gonna use differential thrust on a switch so that I can taxi on the lake. So get the plane back to myself and uh, land. And then again, I could switch it off. Now, this isn't gonna be directly how to just do it on a Futaba. That's not what this video is for. It's more general direction. Anybody out there who's ever played with rates in their transmitter for any reason, um, um, you're gonna know how rates work in your transmitter, but the rules will apply. So first things first, when you're gonna set up differential thrust, especially on a propeller engine aircraft, take off the propellers. We don't wanna lose fingers, just set up differential thrust. It's not worth it, despite how fun diff differential thrust is and how tough it is to say. Um, then secondly, basically, um, you're, wanna get, you're gonna wanna use some tape. So I just grabbed some like painter's tape, put a little tape on the, uh, on the prop shafts, and that's gonna allow you to tell which direction your, your motor's spinning. Sometimes it's hard to see it. So that's just there for eyeballs. So when I turn it on, I can clearly see both my propellers now are spinning the same direction, and that's fine. That's another thing. Differential thrust does not have to happen. Your pe propellers could spin in whatever configuration you want, whether both propellers are spinning together in the same direction or you have counter rotating where they're both spinning in or contra rotating out it doesn't matter differential thrust what it basically does is going to when you yaw the plane left it's going to give power more power to the right engine less to the left so you're going to get more spin and vice versa so i have it all set up on my transmitter i'll just demonstrate it when i bring my rudder left and right you can hear the motor spinning up and I know it's spinning the correct way because when I go left, it's pushing this engine this way. So it's gonna get me left and it's gonna go right. I don't have anything else plugged into this aircraft at the moment for the purpose of this demonstration. And uh, again, when I go up full throttle, I got them both. And then what I have also is a switch. So now I cannot uh, use differential thrust when I'm in the sky. So I'll just be able to fly around regular. And then when I land, nicely then i will flip the switch and i will get my differential thrust back and rolling so now how do you set that up well again it takes just three mixes in your mixing board and you're going to at least need uh, a receiver with an extra open channel uh, to do this because first things first you're going to plug one esc one motor and one esc directly into the throttle port and the second motor in ESC, you're gonna put it into that open channel. In our case, it was channel seven for me. Now the goal is with the first mix, you wanna mix those two motors together. Cause when you plug in, only the motor plugged into the throttle setting is going to work. So you've gotta mix the throttle to channel seven. You wanna get it to the point where they both spin up together. And then when you have that, now you're going, now that your throttle is split between two channels, now you can add the rudder in the direction you need uh, with a mix. So mix number two in my case happened to be a rudder to the throttle channel mix because that will now allow me to get this direction. And in my case, I went up to, I went up to 50 on mine. And then on the second mix, it's gonna be the same thing, rudder to your open channel. So whatever you plug the second ESC wire into, in my case, it was channel seven. So a rudder to channel seven mix, and you can always see that by the master and the slave. And then the rates for this one will be the exact opposite of uh, what the other one was when you get it to work properly. Because again, the numbers will be different depending on your transmitter and the direction your motors are spinning naturally but uh, basically they're gonna be opposites of each other because one will push right and one will push uh, left. So that's basically it guys for this quick tip. You know, most guys who have a capable transmitter with open channels know how to play with their rates menu. So if you know how to do this, then setting up di differential thrust is very simple. If you are a beginner, 
you're not starting with a plane with differential thrust anyway, so go learn your rates, learn your transmitter before you get to this video. But by all means, guys, uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you got any other ideas, any tips that you use. I know there are always 100 ways to skin a cat, so we'd love to hear from you down there. Hit the like on your way out the door, and we'll see you next time for another tip.